Welcome to Hamster Hearthstone. And this here is Big Druid. It does run the Hadronox, like Hadronox Druid, but it does not try to resurrect it. Instead, it plays the Gloop Sprayer, where is it? Here. Which kind of tries to maybe like duplicate Tarantas or Ysera or something of a lot of value like that. So here our strategy is going to be very simple. We're going to play the biology project on turn 1, play the bright-eyed skelt on turn 2, and hopefully it's going to hit something really expensive here, which we can play in turn, turn 3 and benefit. Okay, unless of course if, <laughs> if this thing is exactly the same deck as we are playing, then we'll be and then we'll be giving him an advantage. Well, I guess we'll find out right now. He might have a bright eyed scout of his own. Hmm. Maybe he has another uh, biology project as well, but decided not to play it for some reason. No, come on! Really? Ah, that's so bad. Wow. Yeah, he's just drawing cards, alright. Whatever. Innervate what innervate what the hell is happening? Okay, I <laughs> if that's worth it, sure. Damn, look at that. Three minions in a row with this one in between, and that's what gets hit. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, whatever. Guess it's fine though. Okay, I see. Now we know what he's playing. That's a Maligos. Maligos Druid. In which case, the best course of action is to armor up as much as possible. Besides, we already have a decent number of threats in our hand. So drawing more cards is not actually necessary. We just need to get to high mana crystal count. Swipes that, really? Is that necessary? He's clearly playing Maligos. Why would he... Okay, I guess... Ah, yeah, that makes sense. He wanted to get the count of cards in his hand low enough so that he can ultimate into station next turn. Damn. That doesn't work in our favor at all. Oh, anyway, next turn we can play the Dragon Hatcher. Yeah, there it is. Mm-hmm. Super annoying. Our draw has been so shitty. Just imagine if the bright-eyed scout hit the Tarantas. That would have been game over right there. Okay, what can we pull with this? We can pull this thing. 
And that thing, I guess. Oh, there's another dragon hatch. All right, I guess. I guess that makes sense then. Perfect. All right, <laughs> that was pretty good. Hopefully he'll play um, swipe so that this gets killed off and we get to 10 mana right away because I really want to play that Tarantus. Uh-huh, all right. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. That's the one he wants to kill, that's true. Naturalize though, really. Seven cards. We have two naturalizers of our own now. Maybe it actually makes sense to play it. Yeah, let's do this. Hmm. Let's see. Eight, seven, one. There's one more dragon in there. Nah, uh, it does give you an empty one. That's a bit annoying. Well, anyway, I think since he's at seven cards, the two naturalizes are what we should do here. Okay. Did not miss any attacks. That's good. Oh! <laughs> uh, so perfect. What now? Is he gonna try to switch our decks around? Because he might still have a Tog Waggle. Yeah, sure, whatever, man. Don't really care. I think this game is over. Just because he lost his Maligos. Is he getting armor? Probably he's... Oh no, he might actually be buffing them up. What? He's still drawing? Okay, he's speculating on the deck switch. Actually hit it? Oh, oh I see. Naturalizes that, alright. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I see. Four cards versus seven. Are you sure? You got the Hadronox, a Malfurion. Those are not very useful cards, to be honest. Let's hit that. Hmm. It here. I dream the Play Sarah. Oh no, it's gonna activate twice. Forgot about that. Okay, that's good. So we're gonna be milling that card, but who even knows if it's good enough? If you decided to get rid of it. It's probably not containing anything useful. <laughs> sure. What? Drawing cards? Are you sure? So far, fatigue was on his side. Now not anymore. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. It's kind of weird. Moonfire is that. 
What the hell? Yeah, man, we know. You got your moon fires. Oh, and there was a swipe. Okay. Well, there's a Tarantus. I'm still hoping to set up that gloop sprayer on the Tarantus. That would be so awesome. So, I'm hoping he's not gonna concede until then. <laughs> What's his win condition? There is none. Why is he still in this game? I don't know. Really weird. Uh-huh. <laughs> sure. Okay. Kills that. Alright. Go for it. Maybe you should kill the 5 attack dude, by the way. No? Alright. It's up to you. Oh, of course I don't need that. Okay, just look at that. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> exactly. Is he conceding yet? No? Okay, let's see. What's the point, dude? You're not gonna win against two Tarantuses. It's just not gonna happen. As a druid? No way. Oh, I see. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Well, he still has a Hadronox, but he doesn't have any Naturalizers anymore. Okay, so... Oh, <laughs> finally he realized? What the hell? <laughs> that was funny. I think it was lethal, by the way. We would be able to get through and then hit him twice with the Tarantuses. Alright, perfect. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe. And never forget, you are awesome.